Hey guys, good morning everyone. I'm very excited to tell you that I've just completed integrating LS and Access to Okta and I want to show you how easy it is to do it starting from scratch. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to at least have either Jira or Confluence in your cloud and then after that you should be able to go to admin.lsin.com and then you can proceed with the next steps. Okay, remember to also set up your LSN Cloud account with the email of that domain that you own. In this case, I'm using emily.net, which is my wife's domain. Uh, you can check her out. She actually has a travel blog that is quite interesting. So after you have your domain, you have uh, Jira and Confluence set up, uh, then you go to emily.lsn.com and then you hit on domains and then you hit on HTTPS. And you're supposed to download this verification file and then you upload it to the root of this domain. In this case, this emily.net, I uploaded it to the uh, root. You just hit verify domain. It's going to verify whether you actually own the domain. It will look for this file in the root, right? And once that's done, uh, you will see these options coming up. You just hit on SAML single sign-on, and then it's going to prompt you to enable LSN access. So after you hit activate, you're going to get the SAML configuration screen. Now, you won't see this initially, you will have a form that is asking you to provide this information. So now, how do you get that information? So we're going to set up a Okta trial account. So I already set up an Okta trial account here. Uh, I set it up with the same email that I used to set up the alison.net, uh, but it can be different email, doesn't matter. Once I log in, I get this familiar screen. This one I've already set up earlier, so just to give you a demonstration. One additional button that you don't see in SR is admin, because now I'm an admin of this Okta instance, emily.okta.com. So I'm going to hit them in here. Okay, so right now we're going to add the cloud application to my Okta instance, and to do that, I just Navigate to Applications, and then hit Applications. And then I'm going to hit Add Application. And now, uh, one thing I have to say is Okta integration with Cloud is one of the easiest SAML integrations I've ever done. I've done for of 0 as well. of 0 is not straightforward. It is a lot of work. For this one, it's very simple. All you need to do is search for LS in Cloud. And it's going to prompt you LS in Cloud. You just hit Add. And then I, I don't need Stripe, uh, so I'm, I'm going to uncheck that. And then application label is the name of the application, so that is easier for your users to see which application you're logged in to. In this case, I'm going to say Emily Cloud. While you're configuring this, for consultants especially, the chiclets will appear already, but it doesn't work. So you might want to click here to prevent the chiclets from appearing in the client side. Uh, so that they don't get confused, they click on it and it doesn't work. But for now, I'm, I'm going to leave it as it is. So I hit next. There's a few sign-on methods. The easiest to configure is actually secure web authentication. But this is not what we want because uh, this one still requires the user to insert their username and password at least one time. We don't want that. We want them to have a seamless experience. So click SAML 2.0. And then you can leave the relay state empty. For now, I'm going to hit view setup instructions. This setup instruction is very detailed. And what you need is this from here, right? So I'm going to show you, just scroll down. And, and there's a lot to read here. The instruction is very good. Um, it's going to give you all the things that you need to keep in mind when setting this up. So for now, I'm going to skip everything and show you what you need to copy. So you need to copy uh, the identity ID. And then you're going to navigate back to admin.lesson.com. Remember, just now you were setting up the SAML single sign-on. So you're going to get prompted with this. All you need to do is just paste that, right? And then also the SSO URL. Okay. Paste that. And then the certificate. And paste that. And then I'm not going to save this configuration because I already have one configured, so I'm going to hit cancel. But once you save the configuration, you're going to get this entity ID. This is your unique identifier. So this is all configured. Now all you need to do is to copy the string after SAML slash. So just copy the 981 in this case. And then just hit copy. Go back to Okta and put in the unique ID there. Right? And then just enter the Jira base URL. In this case, it's uh, https://emily.lsn.net. 
and slash wiki. And then you might want to change this to email uh, because the application username format for LSN Cloud is always email. I find this to be working 100% well, so I don't plan to change it, but you might want to try with Okta username as well because Okta username can be the email. Uh, I'm not too sure which one is the best configuration. You can find out and let me know as well. And then all you need to do is just hit done. Okay, so now it still doesn't work, right? Although it's already connected between Cloud and Okta, because there's no users assigned to Emily Cloud yet. So in order to do that, you just go back to applications and then hit assign. So I'm going to go back there again. Go back to applications, hit assign applications, choose all the users that you want, and then hit Emily Cloud. All right. In this case, I don't need these users. You can also assign by group. It's actually recommended to be assigned by groups. And then you hit next. They are going to ask you to confirm that this is the username that you're going to use because it defaults to email, right? You can review and then you can hit confirm assignments. And voila. So right now when I go back to my applications, I should see an additional two applications uh, created. Okay, for now, I'm going to show you how to test this out. So uh, I'm going to close everything and then open an incognito web browser and then I'm going to go to emily.octa.com Okay, I'm going to sign in and then I'm going to show you the one that I've already configured to show you how it works. So now I want to go to Confluence, let's say. Uh, all I need to do is just click on that and it should not prompt you for any username and password. If it does, that means the configuration failed. Uh, it's supposed to show you the Okta login uh, progress. And then it's going to redirect you straight into Confluence. You should see all the information and you should see your profile here. So my profile is here. Yeah, it means everything is working. Another thing that they say you can test is the reverse um, authentication. I'm going to test that right now. So I'm going to go to emily.lsin.net. Emily.net, right? And it's supposed to redirect you to Okta. Yep, so now I'm in Okta. And I hit sign in. And I should get redirected back into LSN. Let's see if that works. Yep, it seems to work. Yeah, so that's it from this presentation. See, my profile is there. Woo! Okay. Yep. <laughs>